Last week, UW Health, St. Mary's, and Meritor all began giving COVID-19 antibody tests. The tests are meant to show if you've been exposed to the coronavirus and have developed antibodies to fight it off. Our producer Matt Clark and I got these tests taken last week, and both of us got our results back. Matt joining us now to walk through the process and what doctors are looking for with these tests. Hi, Matt. Hey, Mark and Susan. Yeah, last Friday, I got a test at UW West Clinic on Junction Road. That's uh, one of the four tests testing locations UW Health is offering right now. The process is pretty simple. Like all patients, you're required to wear a mask while you are inside the building. And then you're, sur uh, you're screened by nurses uh, dressed in full PPE and yeah. asked questions <laughs> about any coronavirus-related yeah. symptoms you may have. Test is probably the easiest part if you can get past the whole needle drawing your blood thing. You sit in a chair, the technician draws a small vial of blood from you and then sends it off to be tested. So what are doctors hoping to learn from these tests? Yeah, I talked to uh, Dr. Jeff Pothoff from UW Health uh, earlier today, and he told me that doctors are hoping to learn about the infection rate within the community and how many people are still at risk. It's a way doctors kind of get a pulse on the, t the term we've heard a lot about herd immunity. If we can test a large percent of the population, we'll have an idea of just how prevalent COVID-19 is in our community. Uh, and that can be helpful uh, for making public health decisions uh, based on that data. Very interesting. And Matt, I know there are some concerns about how accurate the antibody test is. What did Dr. Potoff say about that? Yeah, when I spoke to him, he said that while there have been some problems early on with the sensitivity of the test, uh, he stands by them. And the testing uh, performance still hasn't, you know, still isn't tested as rigorously as if, you know, FDA was going to give their full approval. Uh, but the data that we do have on the test that we are using looks really good. Um, as far as the antibody tests go, uh, it's a good test. So UW Health uh, officials told me that they've completed around 4,000 tests and that they're hoping to do another 6,000 tests. They've got those scheduled. And if you're wondering, I got my test results back yesterday. I'm negative. But what about you, Mark? What did I you get? I got mine back last Friday and I'm negative as well. And this, I think this is one of those weird things where you want to test yeah, positive. Yeah, you want a positive thing that mm -hmm. you've been exposing, you have the antibodies. Right, but how long did the whole thing take? 10 minutes. So it's just a routine blood right. test. And the costs are taken care of by uh, the CARE program, right? Yeah, it's it's all through the, uh, the CARE programs. If you want to do this, how do you go about signing up to do it? How did you do it? You I just go it right on my UW My Chart. Yeah, you, uh, go, so you go online, you can make an appointment, and it, the line is getting pretty long right now. Yeah, I think uh, they're, they're already scheduled into the middle of June. And I got mine because I was just curious. Yeah, and I was I was uh, taking, uh, I was I have a second job where I'm a trivia host, so I was in a lot of bars with big groups up until the Safer at Home order uh, started. So I was curious, and I had, was ill at the uh, middle of February. So, yeah, it's really just a curiosity thing, and, um, the, you know, doctors want to know about this herd immunity, so it's... Uh, you know, it's, it's uh, worth your time. It's good information for you to have personally mm -hmm. because now you have to be st yep. continue to be careful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. All right, Matt, back in the booth. All right, Matt. <laughs> yeah, I'm going right back. Producer show. Well I hope done. you never see me in front of this again. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thanks, Matt. All right.